Hi YouTube. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. It started snowing off and on today, so I don't know if it's going to stick with us, but more rain last night. We've got um, ponds and places there were no ponds, so <laughs> yeah, but it was a pretty cool day in both respects. <laughs> so yeah, I spent some time out in the barn and um Oh, feeding my horse and my chicken a couple different times just to get them in out of the rain and that type of thing. So, yeah, that's always a good day when I can make them comfortable. And, yeah, so, excuse me a moment. Well, been a couple videos I watched. Um, some, of, well, yeah, two of them, literal curiosity to see how far people are literally going to go and try and sway my judgment away from Christ, you know. It's amazing the lengths that people will go to. <laughs> it just it it it's amazing. Um first off, I never mind. It doesn't matter. So if I don't mind, you don't matter. <laughs> so anyway, if you got that but stop trying for god's sakes you know there's god you know there's jesus christ so what's your game what are you going to gain besides no thing that's you know um the ability to create matter is god given and it's it belongs to God. These people on this planet right now, you do not have, you may have the book knowledge. The book says you can do this. But let me tell you what, when you're trying to control other people's minds and you have what you think are strong pros, pro, um, this one minute, <laughs> persuasive reasonings with people. <laughs> oh my God. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> All I got to say is Satan, if that's your best. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just got a case of the laughies right now. I'll tell you what, and there's another thing today, you know, about that old humor demon that, um, Robin's Hood was talking about. Now that's funny because I came across that. Um, you know, people trying to say that a sense of humor is evil. It can be. Oh, definitely, yes. A narcissist has a sick sense of humor. But then there's people with dry senses of humor. And then there's people, and I'm kind of, I kind of fall into that category, um, kind of in between, and it can be a little bit morbid because, you know, I'm just like straight up real with all that, but it's never dark, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Well, anyway, um, oh, just a second. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, if you just knew the feeling of uh, living through everything you could possibly imagine and then having somebody try and tell you, well, forget about the past and don't, you know, forget about the future, basically, and, you know, telling me that, you know, you might be able to tell that to a little girl. And she'll buy that because her um, spirit is young. <laughs> but telling me that makes me want to roar with laughter. So, and it makes, yeah, it does make me want to um, <clears throat> spank a bunch of big babies. Spank you. Spank, spank, spank. Probably in your 
I was going to say in your heads, but no, that's kind of mean, but <laughs> it's what you deserve. <laughs> you want Christ, you want Jesus Christ dead and you don't care about God. So, um, you know, <laughs> Satanists don't even care about Satan. That's how low they are. I mean, how funny is that? <laughs> it all is just, it's humorous to me. If there was a humor demon and it got me, I guess it got me. <laughs> guess what? That humor demon is a dragon named Christ. <laughs> and that's really funny too. Hey, think about words like dre gone. You know, dre gone. And I was thinking about other words today um, that you can break up that make you know, different words. There's, there's a lot of them, but there was one in particular. I wish I could remember now. Um, oh, I guess I can't, can't remember right this second, but yeah, I do get a kick in a sick way out of youngsters. If it wasn't for the fact that they're literally going further away from God with their own thoughts, um, I could laugh a little harder, but I will be, you know, it's all good, you know, but it's just funny. It's, it's like, uh, wow, <laughs> it's just really young. I was going to say infantile. Okay. Maybe not that bad, but you know, pretty young. Oh my goodness. It's unbelievable. I keep telling you and telling you, I've always had God in my heart and Jesus Christ was there in my heart, in my soul, and nothing can take that away. I keep saying it and saying it, <laughs> you know, you tried to beat it out of me. They've tried to um, brainwash it out of me. They've tried to poison it out of me. <laughs> I mean, but come on now. Really? You think when you tried everything, then trying something the second time, if it didn't work the first time, it's not going to work the second, the third, or how many other times you want to try. It will not work. Don't you get it? You should just quit because you keep burying yourself deeper is what you're doing. And you're so transparent to master, to a master. Why don't you quit, quit, quit? Been there, done that, I keep telling you. Don't you hear? <laughs> okay, anyway, <laughs> Jesus Christ, please help them. <laughs> Unbelievable people. If you knew the shit that was done today, just today, the, the, oh, and it's excruciating to watch. It really is. The parts that are hard for them to spit out, and I sit there and I watch it, and I'm like, that's what's amazing. It's like, well, yeah, you'd be a good actor if I didn't already know the story. You know, so there's no way I'm forgetting the past. Not even happening. So, nope. You know, definitely looking forward to my future. I don't know what everybody else is going to do, but I got big plans. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, anyway, so, oh, <laughs> pardon me, really, if you see in my mind's eye right now, the things I see that are making me laugh, you'd, you'd be laughing too. It's like, um, think about the things like if somebody's trying to trick you and they had a whole army to do it, just think about the multitudes of things you would see through the day and then you'd be laughing too. It's like. Come on, really? <laughs> God, you didn't tell me there'd be that many. <laughs> Everybody? Oh, whoa. 
so I'm going to just tell it like it is. God told me not to even monkey with my um, messages today. So <clears throat> I know he's protecting me. He always does. So I'm going to leave that alone. I will answer everybody tomorrow. I'll, I will. Um, uh, I glanced at him and it's like, well, I love you. I do love you. And I will get back to my messages. It's just sad I can't do that right now. He said no, so it's no. So anyway, um, let's see. Oh yeah, Saturday Night Live. They were the ones that were making fun of the one-eyed nom that he had his um other eye injured too, and then went back and served. I mean, I don't hate people so bad if they're in the service that I'm gonna say I wish anybody bad, and that's just sick. Then the uh, Saturday Night Live was making fun of um, the my immigrants. And um, it's like, okay, that's a new low people, you know. Um, I used to watch it. It was great. I mean, I wasn't like a big John Belushi fan or anything, but there was Gilda Radner and Lily Tomlin and just some marvelous comedians that um they don't really even talk about how funny them women really were and steve martin he is pretty radical um i mostly like him in the movie the jerk that's like one of my very favorite movies and i was thinking i'm gonna put up one of my very favorite songs too is uh um reminiscing by Little River Band. That is like probably my favorite song. <laughs> I love it. One of my favorites. I say a lot's my favorite, but that's one of my very favorites. So, yeah. But, yeah, like I say, if uh, there's a human demon, humor demon, I'm screwed. <laughs> you know? I really, I mean, the past couple, well, I would say the past three days, it was three days ago, um, uh, I just knew for certain about somebody, somebody's, well, actually, yeah, right from the beginning, but you know, how, how hard is somebody going to try to actually be? A real decent person and be honest or how hard are they gonna try for the other side so yeah and being that I can see um, that's what's making me laugh because uh, depends that's that's a that's a diaper for adults depends on what you want to do with your life you know back to those old words again um, it's like a composition notebook you know it's like um, you just write in it what you're composing you know <laughs> they're composing <laughs> their own lives yes you sure are Everything we do every day, every thought, and every non thought. You know, um, finding that so called Zen spot inside of yourself is a very dangerous thing, especially calling it Zen. But uh, if you're connected to the soul of Christ, God's your number one um, only almighty and Christ is our king and if that's the way you roll you can't go wrong you know but yeah I mean I know for a fact that if I didn't know what I knew and people weren't afraid of what I can do because of what I know they wouldn't be trying so hard to convince me that I don't know it so, just when you Christians know something, God gives you gifts. He lets you see something. 
tells you stuff or your soul is older and you've lived before, you know, you know what's up. Christ worries about his kids, you know. He's like uh, trying to protect us in a big way. He's uh, some of them he needs to worry about. Yes, he does. My prayer is always my biggest prayer never let me go, never let me fall. If you think that every day, you're not going to fall, you'll be okay. But you got to start your day out and end your day with them same thoughts. And walk with God every second. Yeah. yeah. So it's been an uneventful day for the cabal. Yeah, that's good. And things are going to get better. Real quick. I know that too because uh, this time last year um, I was still recovering from a broken shoulder and arm and stuff. I mean really bad. I really messed myself up and right at, before that I had broke toes and uh, so just one right after another so I was like really messed up for a while so I'm feeling better. And, just about catching up on some sleep because when you got broken stuff, it's so hard to sleep. Y'all probably know that. Sick or injured or whatever, you know. I've been through a lot of that, so that's why I just resigned myself to, well, I really don't give a hoot. This is almost over. <laughs> and um, I can't wait. I'm really excited about the future. It'll only be better. You know, you can say, well, it, I won't say it can't get no worse because it can. You know, God assured me of that. God said, if these people want to step it up, I'm going to step it up. So that's really the way it is. I mean, I hate to see him have to really lay the smack down on people, but. He's perfectly capable. Been there. Yeah. It's a pretty terrible thing to literally bite the hand that feeds you. Yeah. I don't know why they do it. I really don't. But, well, I do know that their bloodline is sick from their practices and um, they really aren't thinking straight because of the sickness within them. So um, if everybody out there, if you get somebody in your life that is like sick, like physically th sick, emotionally sick, you know, say a prayer for them. I'll pray for them too. Because I am. I'm praying for these people that... Um, Oh, I don't know what they think they appear that they are, but they're appearing pretty grody. They're aligning their self with the most vile. And uh, what if I told you even Satan doesn't want to live in vile? You say, oh, no, no, that's not true. He's like, no, no, blah, blah, blah. Well, give you something to think about. Like I ask people, I've asked it on Facebook for a long, long time, and nobody answers me. Does anybody pray for the fallen? Because what? We don't believe that they fell. Falling from grace, falling from the grace of God. Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, whole family. It's family. They're a family. You know, so. And 
might be distant relatives of mine, but they're still related. And then there's ones within their family that actually have closer connection to Christ's blood. And I do believe that happened. Like a spy, you're in there, you're actually trying to help your fellow family members, and you might not be going about it quite the right way. Because you have to be steadfast and you have to be straight up and you have to be, you have to be. Your beliefs that, that your God, our God that saves us, that helps us, that talks to us, he comforts us. You know that. You have to let other people know that. They feel it inside themselves. It's distance. They'll try and turn away from your truth, but they can't ignore it. They can try. They can change the subject but they can't ignore it. They really can't. So, well, if I've got some of them clowns that I watched watching me, and I hope you do, I hope you're listening to me because it um, might be your only hope. You should hope. Don't just be assured of the fact that you're God and you're going to be okay because you know you're not and you're not. So. We're all in the belly of the beast, so to speak. There isn't a way out. Thinking our way out of here is not the way you do it. You have faith. You have faith that you will be worthy to be in Christ's presence. You got to have faith that you'll be worthy, that he'll help you be worthy of that. Because that's a big deal. When the person that laid down the laws for humankind said, I'm coming back after this. I'm going to show you what's good. I'm going to show you what's bad. You decide. And I'm not taking no for an answer. That's kind of like how he is. So just get ready. Get your hearts and souls prepared. And it is not a joke. I'm dead serious about this. I know who, who guides me. And I think everybody else that didn't believe is starting to know who guides me too. You know, or the ones that do believe and are literally turning away. Whatever your reason, just ask God for help. That's all you got to do. Say, um, Jesus Christ, could you help me here? He'll help you. Just ask. It's just the thought. It's the thought that counts. What are you thinking? You know? Stillness is when you're able to walk outside and feel the air and feel your connection with the world. That's stillness. Stillness isn't something that you have to go deep inside yourself. It's all around you. It's always there. You know, that's stillness. That's peace. That's um, whatever your favorite beverage is. That's when you, you have your favorite beverage and you take a sip and the thankfulness of that. Or whatever, you know. It's it's the inner feeling of the moment where your stillness lies. It's moment to moment with God who you're communing with. It's not a switch you turn on and off. It's something that's always there. And once Christ is in your heart, you can't kick him out. So... You know who helps you. You know who helped you. You know who doesn't help you. 
And you know what happens if you turn the other way and take the easy road. You know that. So. Well, specifically, usually I have somebody I'm talking to, and I know I'm talking to more than one somebody's, and if this isn't for you, will you say a prayer that the people that it is pertaining to do get to hear this, they come across it, because um, you need to know you need help. You can't do this alone. I didn't. You can't. So, and I have a very, very strong mind and willpower, and I can't get out of here alone. So, it's like God has not given birth to us yet, you know. And for order for us to have our birthday, we have to behave. That's the bottom line. I just bottom lined it for you. There it is. That's what it is. So. Well, I do love everybody. And, um, oh, I have some more pleasant things that I'll be talking about. But, you know, right now in this world, it's not a very pleasant place. And it's not easy to deal with all by ourselves. So thought I'd get on here. I think some people just need to know that there is somebody with some sanity out here. There's people that are strong, people that love, people that care. You know, you're not alone. And um, <clears throat> even if it killed you to stand up, you're forever so. Who cares? You see what I mean? You're already like a slave you're already being tortured by the system i mean the way people have to work just to um survive with the money bullshit and all this crap that's not natural you know so you know the stress of having to have a time limit and a, everything like that drives me batty it's just so unnatural it really is so well like i said everybody i do love you and um i'll see you tomorrow i'm gonna leave this at that honestly i am a little bit tired i wiped out actually i did bust my butt today so did a whole bunch of stuff don't need to tell you everything you all got to do every day too so i love you and peace and love from pine city minnesota usa Good night, good day, good afternoon. Thanks for being here.